Hello, everybody out there on YouTube. We are the Middle Age Guys, and ooh, I sound like shit. Uh, I am the Reverend. The theme here. Cray Mouth One. Um, we are just going to go ahead and jump into our videos for this particular week. Um, excuse my voice. I am coming over something really, really bad. I've been dying of the plague all week. And hopefully I can actually handle croaking through the rest of these videos that we put out. And it's <laughs> not going to disgust too many people. All right. But like we said, you know, this is pretty much what we're going to start out with. Uh, what we're going to talk about right now is actually kind of a follow-up to a video that we put out all the way back in November 2016. Uh, that's when we first went ahead and we looked at the uh, first officially released trailer for the live-action Full Metal Alchemist um, movie that is set to be released out now, December 1st of 2017. Uh, Warner Brothers themselves are putting it together, but it's going to be an all-Japanese cast and everything. Um, New trailer for the movie has uh, dropped out. In fact, that was actually earlier this week, a few days ago. Um, guys, what are your thoughts on it? I know it was only 90 seconds long or something like that, but still, it, it was definitely something that uh, I, I think it, it can spark a, a conversation. Subtitle it correctly and bring it out here. This is by Warner Brothers, and of course, this is an all Japanese cast, Japanese movie. Yes, it's all a good sign, and looks like they're going to go, you know, copy and paste from the manga and the anime and everything like that. So as we said before, you know, look, I have no problems. It was only a 90 second trailer. So subtitle this shit and make sure the subtitles are positioned correctly when you bring it to the fucking theater. Yeah. We bring it out here and then we'll fucking watch it. It's just basically as simple as that. We're all full metal alchemist fans. Just do this shit correctly and bring it out. I don't, I don't have any fears about it not being done correctly because it's actually being done in Japan. Mm -hmm. That can be its own double-edged sword, but uh, I'll come <laughs> back to that in a second. What about you, Grey Mouse? What, what are your thoughts on this, sir? Um, I'm glad that this, uh, that this uh, trailer came out. This trailer kind of turned me more towards to go and seeing it now because the first trailer, like, like you said, we've done a video back in November about it. Uh, and we had some reservations about it. Um, I'm not saying it completely removed the reservations, but it did help me want to really get more interested in seeing it. You know, like the, like you said, the, uh, the pretty much like the classic cartoon, you know, they're trying to add an hour trying to, you know, to alchemist their mother back, you know, <laughs> and uh, they actually show that and they, you know, so I'm very interested in it now. And it looks, it looks a lot better than uh, this trailer looks a lot better than the trailer we saw back in November. Um, it actually showed the uh, actor's face as Ed and it actually showed um, Al and his mom. So, uh, and we did see a little bit of uh, his arm or Ed's arm. I think it's his his right arm. I think it is. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. So I'm, it got me back into it. I was like, okay, it's not. It wasn't. I felt it wasn't as much CG as it as it was previous uh, trailer. So I mean, they. I think it's coming along well. And like the the theme was just saying a few minutes ago, um, subtitle it and bring it out and i guarantee there's a lot of american people of that fans of that manga would be more than interested in uh in watching this video or yep. movie rather <laughs> yeah the um the the movie itself is definitely something that, it's an interesting thing i'd have to say that uh, it looks a lot better than what we initially saw back in november uh 2016 one of the things that i, I picked up on in that old trailer like uh, gray mouse was uh, was mentioning was the fact that they didn't show the main character's face mm -hmm. on screen at all, which really clued me off to they maybe maybe they weren't very confident in the um, in the the lead's uh, you know acting abilities to show show his face off uh, on that a lot, or maybe they were just really really early with the principal photography and the principal material that they had to cut the trailer, you know. But with this particular one, yes, they sh they showed the pretty boy off, all right, um, and. It's in in his in his hair and everything, and they they showed Al, uh, or at least the full the full render of Al in his armor. Um, it looks like the 
the CGI, the CG work is uh, greatly a lot more polished and, yeah. and a lot cleaner than what we saw initially in the, in the November trailer. Um, but yeah, like the team was saying, you know, if they have a chance to bring it out here, I would love to go out of our way to, to go ahead and watch it like we did with Shin Godzilla. Like I said, hopefully the, the, the subtitles will be all okay. But look, if it's fucked up and they start giving out passes again, then we know how we're going to see Infinity War in 3D fucking IMAX, all right? That's, that's all I got to say about that, okay? Um, was there any other thoughts on this particular one? Like I said, it's only 90 seconds long. Not a lot going yeah. on, really. There's, not, there's, not, there, there's still not much to go on. Everyone's yeah. just hoping that it's not it, that it doesn't stray away from what we already know and love about the fucking series. Yeah, I mean, my, what everyone really asked for. And yes, we got to see the main character's face. We yeah. got to see, you know, forming of a fucking <laughs> spear and yeah. fucking concrete logs going through walls and shit and yep. kind of stuff, yep. you know. But again, well, we're just like, bring it out. I, I would like to, to see a little bit more uh, of the um, the enemies a little bit. I like to see how they're going to be uh, done in this particular movie, but you know. I yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, sorry. Uh, December first, it was announced that it's going to be released on December first, two thousand seventeen. Yeah. So that gives it a little bit more time to have trailers in there as well. So we'll see, and you'll see it right here on this channel. We'll definitely yeah. comment about yeah. it. Yeah. My my only my only real fears about it is the fact that you know. You have a long-standing manga series. You have a long-standing anime series. And then it turns out that they're going to have to handle an origin story, then some sort of huge fucking arc, mm. and handle it in like 100 minutes. Okay? They, they, they can't. Well, yeah, they, they, they can't. Like, but they the manga's like 300 books, 300 chapters, something they like that? They can't shorten all that. Yeah, they can't shorten that into uh, 90 minutes. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm just saying they're not gonna they're not gonna do the whole thing, but you know it's it's probably there's there are real fears that I have of the transition. But and the they, other, I, the, I see uh, what you're saying though they need to if they're gonna end this movie they have to end it at a certain point. Yeah. You no, know, I I think the other thing the other thing that that kind of gets me too is that um you know uh, the Attack on Titan um, uh, Shingeki no Kyojin a uh, live action adaptation that they did. Everything looked the part, but even for the, the Japanese crowd and critically, it wasn't critically well received over there. It pretty much panned it. Um, it was universally declared as being pretty much a shit fest. All right. But it looked the part. Okay. And with this particular one, it looks the part. So no, I, I, I have my reservations still, you know. All right. But as that's. Mine. Yeah, that's something that that we'll see, you know, sometime down down the future. And it's not like it's not like uh, the folks in Hollywood, or the folks in in Japan, the movie movie studios are, are going to stop making this stuff. Uh, yeah. As long as there's always new manga and anime coming out, um, they're they're always going to be looking at ways to go ahead and adapt this. You know, um, I you can go more, ahead. And, I got one go more ahead. thing to say. I'm sorry to talk over you, but Warner Brothers, right? Yes. So that's kind of almost sort of kind of guaranteed to come out here in some sort of distribution doesn't mean yeah, it's going to hit theaters so, yeah it doesn't mean that it's going to hit theaters it may just it go look. <laughs> yeah straight to dvd so that's okay yeah yeah but like i said you know it's, yeah but like you said it's it's not like they're they're gonna stop you know going out of their way trying to uh, farm these types of intellectual properties for adaptations.